Yeah, yeah. Hey. Ship from the shores of Cape Coast, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Senegal, black gold they were hauling. 400 years it was hard then. Kept striving to be free from Marcus de Bois. Can't forget Kwame. For reparations, they did pray to unite in their honor. We do say, Yanko. Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be speaking about traditional African names, all right? And by the end of this year, regardless if you're a male or female, you will know what your traditional African name is if you were born in the country of Ghana, all right? So stay tuned and I'm going to show you not only the name, but how to properly pronounce that name and also show you a few variations of the name. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. All right, so today I wanna to talk to you about traditional African names and making sure that you are definitely using a traditional African name. So all of us, I do believe all of us, but maybe not, maybe not, maybe you don't get out much and you don't meet a lot of people, but hopefully you have had the experience of meeting someone. And I say hopefully because you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, right? You've met someone with a very unique name, all right? And, you know, just like this little darling little baby here, too cute, absolutely adorable. And, you know, their parents may have, you know, high, you know, desire to name their child with a, a name that represents their culture, their heritage. And so they get together and they decide that we're going to name our child an African name, right? And so maybe they've heard a name somewhere and they decide to use that name or they decide to make up one themselves, you know, and then they tell the child that this is an African name. Now, we've all run into, or maybe you haven't, but I have run into a couple of people or met a couple of people who have names such as, you know, Chiquita Kawanda. And now, if your name is Chiquita Kawanda, please do not get offended, all right? Or, you know, let me come up with something else. Chamita Boisha, okay? And Chamita Boisha is the type of person who you don't even ask, have to ask Chamita Chaita Boisha the meaning of her name because she's very proud of her name and she'll tell you that her name is an African name. Now I have met quite a few immigrants from Africa and I have lived on the continent and I have never met a Chiquita Boisha but that doesn't mean anything. There are lots of African names that I've never heard of but I can assure you that Chiquita Boisha is not a traditional African name. I, I, I would almost put money on that okay but if you want to give your child a true traditional African name that others have heard of, that's possibly easy to pronounce, okay? And something that they can truly say that this is an African name, it's something that's recognized by Africans, even if they're not from that particular country where the name comes from, more than likely they have met someone from that country who carries that name. Well, today I want to tell you about uh, the naming process in the country of Ghana. Ghana has a wonderful tradition of naming children based on the day that they're born. And so regardless of whether you're a male or a female, by the end of this year, you will know what your traditional African name is. All right. Now, they also have a tradition of naming children based on the order in which they're born and also based on the circumstances in, in which they were born. Today, we're just going to focus on the name that you would have been given based on the day that you were born. All right, so let's get started. So if you are a male born in the country of Ghana on a Sunday, all right, don't just look at the list because I'm going to tell you how to properly pronounce the name, okay? And it's very important for some of these to get them right. Because if you meet someone with these names and you don't get it right, they will let you know, okay? So, if you are a male born in the country of Ghana or anywhere in the world and you want to take on a traditional African name from the country of Ghana, if you were born on Sunday, your name would be 
quissy. Now here they have it written as quasi, okay? But your traditional name, the most commonly pronounced version of this name for a male born on Sunday is quissy. Now I want to show you that there are variations of that name like a quasi, and as we saw on the other chart, quasi, but the most, or cc, but the most common pronunciation for males born on Sunday in the country of Ghana, your name would be quissy. Quissy, quissy, all right? If you are a girl, female, woman, born on Sunday in the country of Ghana, your name would be Akosia, 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 all right? So Sunday born males, traditional African name if you're born on Sunday is Quissy. If you're a girl born on Sunday in the country of Ghana, or anywhere in the world you want to take on a traditional African name and you were born on Sunday, your name would be Akosia. If you are a male, let's move on to Monday, born on Monday. In the country of Ghana, your traditional African name would be Kojo. Now this is written Kwajo, and I'll show you the variations in just a moment, but the most common pronunciation for boys born in the country of Ghana, your traditional African name would be Kojo. All right, and if you are a girl born in the country of Ghana on a Monday, your traditional African name would be Ajua. Ajua. So you see here the DW sound makes a J. J. All right, Ajua is J. DW here is J. So Monday born boys traditional African name in the country of Ghana or anywhere in the world and you want to take on this African name, your name would be, if you're a boy born on Monday, would be Kojo. All right. If you're a girl, it would be Ajua. And just to briefly look at the variations for Monday borns, you see here the females, there are quite a few different names, but males, you'll see here Kojo, Kojo. And you see here Kwajo, or even Kobe. So if you're a Monday born male, most commonly people would refer to you as Kojo or Kobe. Those are the two most common versions of that name that I've heard. And some may pronounce it Kwajo. All right. So moving right along to Tuesday borns. If you are born on Tuesday in the country of Ghana and you are a male, your name would be Kwabena. Kwabena, Kwabena, all right? So Tuesday born Africans in the country of Ghana, males, your name would be Kwabena. If you are a female born in the country of Ghana or anywhere in the world and you wanna take on a traditional African name for Tuesday borns, your name would be Abena, 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 not Ab Abina, Abena, Abena, Abena. All right. So once again, there are various versions for the different names. You'll see here. Uh, some may call you Araba, Araba if you're a girl. All right. But typically, if you're a Tuesday born girl in the country of Ghana, you are called Abena, Abena. All right. And if you are a Tuesday born boy in the country of Ghana or male, your name would be Kwabena, Kwabena. Kwabena. All right. So moving right along to Wednesday borns. If you are a Wednesday born male in the country of Ghana, or if you want to take on a traditional African name, which is a real African name for males born on Wednesday, your name would be Kweku or Kwaku. All right. Most often I've heard this pronounced Kweku. And everyone that I know who's born on Wednesday, it's Kweku. 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 I had a professor whose name was Kweku. I won't name his last name, but Kweku. He's a Wednesday born. All right. And if you are a girl born in the country of Ghana or you want to take on a traditional African name and you were born on Wednesday, your name would be Akua. 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 All right. So Wednesday born males, Kweku. 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 Wednesday born girls, Akua, Akua, Akua. Enjoy your name. Now, the next name, 
Thursday. If you are a Thursday born, make sure you get this right. Or if you know someone born on Thursday, make sure you get this right. If you are a male born on Thursday, and the person who wrote this used the phonetic spelling, which is great, because if you're a male born on Thursday, your name would be Yao. 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 Okay. If you are a female born on Thursday, a girl, a woman born on Thursday, your traditional African name would be Ya. 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 All right. So, males born on Thursday, traditional African name would be Yao. 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 If you are a girl born on Thursday, your traditional African name in the country of Ghana using the Akan language, the tree language would be Ya. Yeah, yeah. All right. So moving right along to Friday borns. Have we gotten to your day yet? We haven't gotten to mine. I'll let you know. Well, by now you know because we're going to Friday. I wasn't born on Friday, so there's only one left after that. So Friday. If you are a male born in the country of Ghana, your traditional African name, if you were born on a Friday, would be Kofi. So many of us have heard of Kofi Onan, all right? Kofi Onan, he was born on a Friday. So Kofi, Kofi, Kofi. If you're a male born in the country of Ghana, or if you want to take on a traditional African name based on your birthday day being Friday, then your name would be Kofi, 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 if you're a male. If you are a female, a girl, a woman, and you were born on Friday. Now, this one is, is, is also important to make sure that you understand that there are different pronunciations for this. So, if you're a girl born on Friday, your traditional African name, if you were born in the country of Ghana, would be Afia. 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 All right. Now, this says Afua. Some say Afua, but most often you'll see it as Afia. All right. And so, let me show you here. Okay. Effie was for short, okay? Effie for Friday born, but most often it's Afia, Afia, Afia. So Friday born males in the country of Ghana, traditional African male name would be Kofi, all right? Kofi, or some may say Fifi, right? But Kofi is the most common. So one last day which is the seventh day all right y'all save the best for last all right i'm just i'm serious but i'm joking too okay but this is my day saturday now my mom didn't rest on the sabbath day for those of us who keep sabbath she i would say she labored she said she didn't labor because she was sleeping and passed out so she doesn't remember she every day that she gave birth she gave birth on the sabbath and she says she passed out and on each occasion okay so Saturday born child male in the country of Ghana your traditional African name would be Kwame 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 if you are a female born in the country of Ghana on Saturday your traditional African name would be Amma now they have two M's here but it would just be one M in the in its spelling this is phonetically uh, written here so if you are a female a girl a woman born on the blessed sabbath day your name would be ama so that is my name ama my traditional african name is ama so i hope this helps i'm going to go over it one more time if you're sunday born boy your name would be quissy sunday born girl akosia monday born boy kojo all right monday born girl ajua tuesday born uh boy Kwabena, Tuesday born girl, Abena, Wednesday born boy, Kwaku or Kweku, all right, Kweku, Wednesday born girl, Akua, Thursday born boy, Yao, Thursday born girl, Ya, Friday born boy, Kofi, Friday born girl, Afia, Saturday Sabbath born boy, Kwami, Saturday Sabbath born girl, Amma. I hope this helps and thank you for tuning in. Have a wonderful day in the Most High Yah. Shalom.